you about our young athletes having problems with their bodies falling apart. What can we give our athletes and our children so that they can be healthy and have long lives that we want as well? That's a great question because most people believe that exercise is good for you. And that was always a great question. You know, is exercise good for you? Is it necessary for health and longevity? And when you inspect this question, uh, you have to look at professional athletes who uh, spend most of their teenage years and going through university and the semi-pros and the pros uh, training and practicing and doing their events. And, and if exercise was the factor in living a long, healthful life, athletes should live longer than couch potatoes. But when you look at this critically, couch potatoes in America live to be 75.5, and the average athlete, depending on the sport and their level of competence, live to be 62 to 68, far short of what a couch potato lives to be. And, of course, athletes suffer from a great many joint diseases and bone injuries and tendons and ligaments, back, neck, shoulders, ankles, knees, and hips, and have to suffer through an enormous amount of surgeries to deal with this. And athletes develop some 800 different diseases. And what is it? Why is it that athletes don't fare as well as the couch potato? Well, it's simply because athletes sweat more in five years than couch potatoes do in 75 years. And when you sweat, you're not just sweating out Gatorade, you're sweating out all 60 essential minerals. And they're called essential minerals because if they're missing for any length of time, you get some horrible degenerative disease, many of which are, are life-threatening. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out who's more likely to be debilitated or even die of these, these life-threatening diseases. An athlete who sweats out quarts of sweat during an event or training or practice or a couch potato who's laying on a couch in an air-conditioned den, switching the channels, yelling, honey, bring in the popcorn, I'm changing the channels. And this is very serious because the Center for Disease Control says that as many as 100,000 young athletes under the age of 30, 100,000 each year die suddenly during an event or training or exercise or immediately after an event from cardiomyopathy, heart disease, and ruptured aneurysm, and we know that cardiomyopathy heart disease is due to a selenium deficiency, and ruptured aneurysms is due to a copper deficiency. So you can begin to put two and two together. Why does a 10-year-old die of a ruptured aneurysm? Well, you sweat out all of his copper, and you can't get copper from curly french fries and Pepsis. It just doesn't work.